Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sweet, spicy and tangy pineapple chutney. This chutney is so versatile that it goes so well along with some paratas, peplas as a side dish, along with your main meals or as a spread over sandwiches like a grilled cheese sandwich with wraps. You must try this chutney. This is a step-by-step -step video I'm going to show you of how to put this entire chutney together with all the tips and tricks. But before I dive right in, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the bell icon and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I will be sharing recipes like these week on week so you don't never have to miss them. So let's just dive right in and start cooking. So the first step is I'm going to peel my pineapple and then chop it up. Once you've removed the skin, the trick to remove all those eyes on the pineapple is to use a bread knife and then slice it off just like that. Um, a serrated knife essentially works really well and I like using this bread knife because uh, all the, you know, the thorns and all the things that you don't want in a pineapple, they just come out beautifully. And that's it. It's as simple as that and you just run it over the knife and um, I like using this trick. Sometimes not all pineapples are great, nice, soft, juicy and you sort of get a pineapple that is small, tender because you like to use it and but you might have to use this technique to remove all the uh, eyes, you know, the thorny eyes from the pineapple. That's it. We're almost cleaned up and the pineapple is ready to be finely chopped. I'm not going to be using this core because in a chutney that sort of comes uh, in between it doesn't become nice and soft. So I'm just going to finely chop up the pineapple now. Good way to chop the pineapple if you don't want the core is to first thinly slice it and just alongside the core and ensure you only get the juicy part of it. Now I'm just going to finely chop up the pineapple. It's nice and tender. Ensure the pineapple is nice and soft and tender because only then it'll caramelize beautifully and it'll become nice and soft and juicy. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add some oil into a pan and I'm going to crackle some cumin seeds first into the warmed up oil. Add in some green chilies and ginger and the cinnamon stick. Once the ginger and the green chilies have softened a little bit, add in the finely chopped pineapple. Saute the pineapple and keep cooking it on medium heat. Then add a little bit of salt and then cover the pan and we'll cook the pineapple for about seven to eight minutes to 10 minutes on low to medium heat until it's nice, soft and tender. So I've been cooking the pineapple for about five to six minutes right now and it's beautifully done. It released some moisture in between and uh, it's also got a nice roasted texture and that's how you want it and it's soft and cooked. If it is not and you feel this needs a little bit of more moisture, just keep sprinkling water in between so that it softens up while it's cooking. This is just perfect, okay? This is the exact consistency that I want. I'm gonna now add in the rest of the ingredients. I'm gonna add in some sugar. The pineapple is juicy but then uh, it needs an additional sugar because we're going to add some spices to it. I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice to cut into the already sour pineapples, but they're also sweet. This pineapple was absolutely sweet. It had very little bit of that sourness. I'm going to add in some red chili flakes. Go a little bit low on it because I've already added green chilies. Just add a little bit of red chilies and a pinch of turmeric powder. Just a pinch, not too much. And a pinch of Kashmiri red chili powder. We've added green chilies, remember. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit of cumin as well. And go ahead and give this a stir. And then cook it for about another um, five minutes, I would say, until it becomes nice and uh, juicy and has a nice sticky texture from the sugar and the caramelization process that has happened. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a taste right now. Mm. Mmm, absolutely yummy, delicious, soft, the juiciness is still there but the pineapple is completely cooked, it's got that nice, you know, caramelized texture, we added that sugar and the lemon so it's brought in that definite uh, zing to the pineapple chutney. This is just perfect and it's done, I can't wait to um, 
serve it along with some teplas, which I love having it for breakfast. And by the way, you can store this pineapple in the refrigerator for at least two to three weeks and it'll stay beautifully. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this recipe of how to make the sweet and spicy and tangy pineapple chutney. Absolutely simple, isn't it? You must give it a try. And when you do, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments below because I'd love to hear back from you. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll get notified of these simple, beautiful, delicious tasting recipes that you can try in your kitchen with all my tips that I share with you. So until then, until next time, happy cooking and healthy eating. <laughs> <laughs>